Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreate Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step-by-step -step how to package your card decals. If you haven't seen my last video, I show you exactly how to create card decals. You can go back to that video and see how easy it is to create them. I will also leave a link in the description below to that video. I will leave all my supplies in the description below, and as always, if you have any questions, please leave them below and I will get back with you right away. Now let's get started. Alright guys, so I've been making a quite a few car decals and I've been selling them and they've been selling really well So I wanted to show you guys how to create this in case you're interested If you're interested in learning how to make car decals go back a video and I show you exactly how to make the car decals This is just going to be a video on how to package them So I have this here how to apply decal I love this because it tells the people step by step how to do it And I'm going to show you where I purchased this from so I purchased this particular SVG file from Etsy. It's a printable how to apply a decal. I love it. For $1.69, I was going to save myself some time so I didn't have to write it all out myself. So there's a few things that you have to do with this. I'm actually going to make this just a little bit smaller that we can see it on the page. So there's two pieces to this. There's this white background here, the border, and then you have the wording here as well. So I want to select both pieces and I'm going to click ungroup. And the reason I clicked ungroup is because I want this wording here to write out with the Cricut pen. And here's where you can change the color if you want. I'm just going to leave mine black. And then, so I'll show you that part really quick. So I go to the basic cut up here and I'm going to change it to pen and it's going to change it for me here. So this, all the white part here, all the wording is going to be cut out with a pen but then we also have this part here that's a basic cut so it's going to cut out this all the ridges around here so the last thing you want to do is grab both images and then push attach and then that's telling Cricut that you want to cut out the border and you want to draw on here so it's going to cut out exactly how you see it so it was so simple to do if you wanted to change the color you could have done that you know go back to detach and then you can work with this so I can change it any pen color I want so let's say Let's look here for a light purple. If I have a light purple, I can I can change it to whatever color I want. But then you always want to make sure that you select both and then push attach because that's telling Cricut that you want to cut out the border and you want to draw on the border that you cut out. If you don't push attach, it's just going to cut out the border and then on a regular piece of paper, it's going to print out or draw out the wording. So you definitely want to make sure you attach both. So now you can see it says multiple up here. So it means it's going to it's going to write it here and then it's going to cut out the decal. So I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller that, you know, we can still read it, but I want to be able to fit four of them on um, one cardstock paper. So I have this one selected. I'm going to push duplicate three more times that we have four of these. I'm going to try to cut out um, four on one piece of cardstock. Perfect. So I could actually make it just a little bit bigger. You just want to make it big enough that you can read this. So depending on like what size your decal is, if it's really large, you can make these larger. If it's smaller, you can make it a little bit smaller, but you always want to make sure that you can read it. And I actually did push five on accident. So we'll just skip this one. So I'm just going to show you how to do this one. So I'm, gonna put, I'm going to push the continue button and then I'm going to show you which settings I use. So when it comes to here, these are my base materials that I use all the time. These are my favorite ones. So I'm going to be actually using this heavy card stack. I like to use a really, really thick stuff. So I'm going to push on that. And then it's going to tell me to put in my fine point blade, which I always have in, and then also load my purple pen. Um, I'm actually not going to be using purple. I'm just going to use black and then I'm just going to use miscellaneous pieces of cardstock paper. So you can change it whatever color you want. I'm just going to be using, I think we'll try blue, pink, and maybe a green color. And then I'm just going to use a black pen, but it's going to tell you load your pen into your uh, A clamp. And then you always, almost always have your blade in your B clamp. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll show you how to package these in the in the bags themselves. Okay, so this is what they're gonna look like when you're finished with it. Um, I'm just gonna take a decal which I have here and then I also bought these bags on Amazon. I really like these, I'll show you really quick. So they are six by nine, I got 200 of them. They're self-stealing bags which I really, really like. So it's very simple to do. So a mistake that you don't wanna make that I've made is there's obviously two ways you can put this in but you want your decal to be in the spot where you're not going to see this part here so you want to stick it in the front here so easy 
very easy. All you gotta do is stick this guy in here in the front and then take one of our, oops, it's already sticking on here. And then take one of our decal, um, how to apply your decal that we just cut out and then you put it behind that one. So I'm just gonna do it right behind this. And then if you have like a business card or anything you wanna stick in here, whoops, I put this the wrong way. You can stick your business card in here as well. Uh, I've done that, but I just ran out of my business cards. I gotta get some more. So here it is, how to apply the decal. And then you have your decal on the other side. And then I'll show you, this is how the other one looks. So I have my I Create Crafts business card in here, the how to apply, and then the other side has the decal on it. So the last thing you wanna do is just take this little paper piece or this plastic piece off, so it's self-sealing and then just put it down and do it nice and neat. And one thing that I've noticed with these bags is it keeps a lot of air in it. So as you're putting it down, kind of push out the air as you go. Otherwise it's gonna be really, really puffy. But that was it, it was as easy as this to make. If you guys are interested in learning how to make the decals themselves, um, I do have a tutorial on how to do that. Just go to a video back. So this one is best, I'm not saying that word ever. And then I have these ones where it can go on your um, gas can area. I'm trying to find one if I have any more that are colors. So yeah, there's the mom life one again. And then I have this help dad farted we can't get out. Kind of got to put that on my husband's car because self-explanatory. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribers already. And thank you to everybody who is subscribed and also helps me along with my videos. I love your comments. Please make them. Uh, please keep them coming and um, happy crafting everyone.